What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to continue on with the 12th episode of our Filament PHP video series where we're going to configure two plugins in our Filament PHP project. A plugin is basically a component that adds a specific feature or functionality to an existing system or application. Filament PHP has tons of features and you most likely won't need any plugins when you want to build simple applications. But sometimes you just want to extend the functionality of the framework. One pretty cool feature that Filament PHP has, well, let's open a new tab. Now let's say filamentphp.com is that they have a plugins tab on their official website. Right here, you will find a total of 97 plugins that they offer. Now keep in mind that these are not all created by the developers of Filament PHP itself. Since Filament PHP is open source, there are tons of packages that have been created by contributors. Now, one package that I want to install is named Excel Export, which has been created by, and I hope that I'm pronouncing his name right, Dennis Koch. When you open any package in Filament PHP, you will find tons of documentation on it, from available methods, installation, custom stuff, and way more. For now, I want to open the installation part, which is through Composer, so let's copy it. Let's navigate to iTerm. Let's paste it right here and hit enter. All right. And what I want to do is configuring an Excel export on my order resource. Since maybe a company might want to print out the orders, which can be done through an Excel format. So let's see how this works. Let's navigate to PHPStorm. Let's close off all the files that we have open and open our order resource. And you don't want to have the option to only select individual rows and export them. Filament PHP allows you to perform an action on multiple records at once through the bulk action method right here. So what we simply need to do right here is right above the delete bulk action is use the export bulk action. If we navigate to the browser and navigate to our local host, click on orders. You don't see any option where we could basically export it. And that's because we need to select the rows first. We could either select single rows or all rows. Right here, you will see that a button popped up named bulk actions. And once you click on it, you will see the export option. Now, once we click on export, you'll see that it has exported a Excel formatted file of our orders. Now I've just got out the part where I've opened it in Google Drive. And once I open it, you'll see the result right here. We have exported the number, customer, status, and order date. You've got tons of other configurations, which I recommend you could check out through the official documentation of the package itself. The second package that I want to cover is named Spotlight. And as you can see, it has been created by the same author named Dennis Koch. This package basically allows you to easily search through your application's actions. So let's scroll down and let's copy the composer require, navigate to iTerm, paste it right here. This package does not work out of the box because we need to register it inside our panel configuration. So well, let's open our, where is it? Providers directory, admin panel provider, and anywhere, let's say right under the user menu items, we're gonna chain the plugins method pass in an array where we could add multiple plugins. The plugin that I want to add is called Spotlight Plugin Make. Now let's navigate to the browser. Let's open our local host. And this package offers four commands that you can perform to open Spotlight, which I will show you on the screen right now. If I press on command K, you will see that Spotlight just opened. So let's say that we want to search for product. Right here, you will see that it has added the three CRUD operations of a product. We can open the list, we can open a create field, and we can open an edit field. So let's say create, where you will see that we have been redirected to the page where we could create a new product. For now, I want to wrap up this video where we have installed two packages. This video was more to show you that it's super simple to install packages inside a Filament PHP project from the plugins tab on their website. This was it for today's video. If you enjoy the content and you want to see more, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.